James, my final question for you is what three specific tips you have for job seekers in order to elevate their job search? All right. So here's my advice for an entire how to redo your job search process and just works out. This is actually a three-step process. So I'm glad you asked me this question. Um, step one is, is going to sound the simplest. So you need to be able to have your story prepared, what you're trying to do. You need to be able to nail the tell me about yourself question. So if anybody asks you, tell me about yourself, that's your elevator pitch. That's what your, your go-to is that way, you know, you never fumble that in an interview and you never fumble that during the networking, but you need to make sure you have that always in hand. The second thing is you want to make a list of companies that you're interested in and you want to make a big list. And this is not companies. And I, I can't underscore this enough. This is not companies you saw with jobs posted. This is companies that you just, you like what they do. You're excited by their product, by their vision, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, make a list of 40, 50 companies that you're just really passionate about what they do, regardless if they have jobs posted that fit your background or not. Also, I guess, side of that is also, you know, make a list of who the key contacts are there at that organization, both in HR and potentially hiring managers. Um, now, the second, the last thing that kind of fits in with this, and this is the most critical, is you want to reach out to them. You want to introduce yourself. But the key, the key part is you want to ask for advice. You don't want to ask for a job. And there's a really critical reason for that. If people have a natural gut reaction when someone asks them if they're hiring, but they're not hiring to just say no, or maybe their maybe their organization is hiring, but it's not their responsibility. And they say, go contact someone else. You're going to get turned down so many times by asking, Hey, are you hiring? Or, Hey, I'm interested in this job. Um, yet people love giving advice. If you make your outreach some sort of question like, hey, I'm looking to transition into this new industry. I'm looking to transition into this new role. I can see you're very accomplished. I'd really mean a lot to me if you just give me 10, 15 minutes so I can ask you a few questions about how, if you were me, how I could get there. Yeah. You will get a much higher response rate to that question. And then once you get people, once you're engaged with them, once you're doing a Zoom call with them, and by the way, do Zoom, not a phone call. You want to make sure they can kind of see you. That's when you go back to like being able to tell your story, like I said at the beginning, um, and try to explain, okay, I'm looking to make this transition. What were you doing if you were me? If you strike a genuine personal connection with people in that kind of situation, it's going to turn into interviews at some point when they're hiring in the future, if they're not right now, it'll turn into referrals, both at that company or potentially elsewhere. Um, it just opens up so many more doors than just posting jobs or applying to jobs and just asking people if they're hiring. Those are great tips. I always tell people, you know, ask questions like, uh, people will help you if you ask for for an advice and not just tell me hire me right mm -hmm. that's the great tip that everyone should be asking because everyone wants to help other people that's absolutely i firmly believe that and i think that just by asking the question differently you'll see a huge result so thank you for those great tips james and with that my interview with you comes to an end again thank you for taking the time to answer the questions i really enjoyed the conversation and I hope my audience will enjoy it too and, and apply one of some of the tips that we discussed. Uh, and again, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips for job seekers, please leave it in the comment below. And tune in next time for another great interview I prepared for you. And James, thank you again and keep in touch. Bye. Thanks for having me.